Hi there folks. Well, the snow arrived here on Friday night and I must admit I do love uh, the snow. I love to look out on it uh, and I love to enjoy the snow. Many people don't, of course, for it can disrupt uh, their plans. But you know what I love about the snow is how uh, those tiny little small snowflakes as they fall from the sky uh, continuously can uh, really cover the whole place and uh, as well as, you know, cause such great disruption, uh, have this just ability to make everything that they cover uh, look beautiful uh, and peaceful as well and really brings a stillness uh, to our landscape uh, as we think about uh, the snow. That, that tiny little thing, a, a snowflake, and, you know, it reminds me that every single snowflake is different. And of course, uh, that really can be applied to ourselves as well, can't it? For every single one of us is different. We are unique uh, in our own particular ways, uh, just as the snowflakes uh, are unique. And yet, what we discover uh, from the very forming of a snowflake is that whilst each of them are different, they have that within them that is common. There is something within each of those snowflakes um, at the very heart of it uh, that is common. You know, each snowflake starts off really just as a little speck of dust. And as moisture gathers against that speck of dust and as it freezes and crystallises, it brings to it that beautiful form of each unique uh, snowflake. But at the very centre of it is essentially a piece of dirt. And that reminds us that whilst, you know, we are all different, we also have something that is common to us all at the very heart of us um, as well. Just as each snowflake has that dirt within it, that impurity uh, within it, so each of us have that which is impure and unclean uh, within us that the Bible calls uh, sin. And of course, we can trace that back to the, the beginning of time when um, Adam uh, was perfect and yet he disobeyed God. And as a result of that disobedience, sin entered into the world and the Bible makes it clear that that sin has passed upon all of us uh, and death has come as a result of that sin. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and of course that sin comes with a, a consequence, a, a punishment as a result of that sin which essentially is separation from God um, for all eternity and punishment at the hands of a holy and a righteous God on account of sin. Uh, that has been uh, committed. And so we can see that uniqueness within ourselves as we look at the snow, but we can see that common factor that each of us has, it's sin, which is a problem to us. You know, one of the other things that as I look at snow, um, i reminded of, I see that snow as it covers everything. And, you know, things that maybe don't look particularly pretty uh, can suddenly take on a whole different form when the snow eh, covers it over and it covers everything. You know, the Bible tells us that our sins it can be covered. Our sins, that which is impure within us, can be covered, not really by snow, um, but actually the Bible uses snow as a description of how pure and white we can become despite our sin. In the prophecy of Isaiah in chapter one, we read these words, Though your sins be like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And you know, David, uh, the psalmist, uh, the one who became king, was one who had done things that were wrong in his life, just like every uh, one of us. And David came to the realisation of the wrong that was in his life and you know, he prayed to God for mercy within that situation. And his prayer was this, wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. I shall be whiter than snow. And that can be our prayer today too, for our sins can be covered, not by snow, but we can be made pure and white as snow. Our sin can be covered by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. He covers our sin through the fact that he shed his blood and died for our sin. There is hope for us today on the basis of Christ's death 
on the cross uh, there at Calvary. When Jesus came into the world, but we think about that at Christmas time, he came uh, to die. When Jesus died, he died uh, for your sins and he died for my sins. Uh, and he conquered death and he rose again from the dead uh, that brings us hope today uh, that our sins uh, can be uh, forgiven. But you know, another thing that I notice about the snow is that it doesn't last uh, forever. It doesn't last uh, forever. It's not long before it melts uh, and it's gone, uh, never to return. You know, I was going to just stand outside uh, today uh, and to record this message. But it's a little bit noisy out there for the kids in the street are all out excited and they're building snowmen. But you know, those snowmen won't last very long at all. Indeed, the snow will go. Uh, and whilst the snowman might appear to be there for a little bit longer, ultimately it, it will melt and uh, soon uh, no trace uh, will be left. Oh, what a picture of our life um, that is. You know, uh, there in the book of Job, in the Old Testament, uh, we can read these words. Drought and heat consume the melted snow. So does the grave those who have sinned. Drought and heat consume the melted snow. And in the same way, in the same way, the grave takes those who have sinned. The Bible says... The soul that sins it shall die. And you know, our lives are passing too. Our lives are, are fleeting. We are not here forever. As a result of sin, death will cross our pathway. And as a result of sin, as we move out of this life and into eternity, the question is eternity where? If we remain in our sins, the Bible makes it clear that there is punishment at the hands of God. And that will take us away from God. Uh, that will take us to an eternal punishment. But if we trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, if we acknowledge that when Jesus died on that cross, when Jesus shed his precious blood on that cross, that he did that for me. He did that for my sins. And on the basis of the fact that he has died for my sins and my trust in him, through confession of my sins, I can come to know him as my own and my personal saviour. And I can come to know of a heavenly destiny after this life is over, I can go to be with him uh, for, in heaven uh, and that forevermore. But only if we come and acknowledge that Jesus died for us, if we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, then we can be saved, saved from our sins. So though our sins be as scarlet, they can be made as white as snow. I wonder, have you had your sins forgiven? Do you know? the joy of peace with God and the assurance of a home in heaven in a future day. That can be yours today. Thank you very much for listening.